Hit you though. Ooh, hello. That grenade is gonna be a pain. Or it's just not gonna... Hmm. You know what? That, uh, did not go according to plan. They're not gonna follow me here, though, are they? No. Oh, they do. Oh, what? Guess the engineer shot me just uh, before she died. It's like, wait, that's, is someone behind me? No. Yeah, bye bye, Elite. Have fun. Enjoy. Oh, he did. <laughs> Not for long, though. He was begging for more. Oh yeah, bypassing. I have to increase my mouse sensitivity again. That goes there. That goes there, probably. Yep. Those two. Yep. Hmm. You know what? I will go back to a uh, good old submachine. I need to turn down the seven sensitivity again. It's really quite unplayable if I don't. Okay, any goodies? Elevator down? Not when you're dead. Not when you're dead. I will never see the Weeper's arrival. All you had to do was stay in Just no. Yeah, you had that coming. Oh, for fuck's sake! Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup, now. Communication system damaged. Damn it! Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. My only chance. Okay, so it skipped uh, some real time there, but uh, I'm thinking this might actually be like you get half an hour to do this, so we'll see. But yeah, I don't care about shooting her. She had it coming. You know, I, I said so from the beginning, you know, she's gonna betray us, so fuck her. She's lost. Lost cause. It's nothing to be gained by not killing her, because she will still blow us up, or blow herself up, so... Mm. No? Alright, then see the stairs. Don't tell me there are gonna be guards in the way or something. Surely they're running as hell as well. Have to be, right? Heavy weapon ammo. Okay. Going outside. Did not really see that coming. And I wonder why it's giving me heavy ammo. There's going to be something big around, isn't there?
Are there gonna be turrets or something? No? These guards are... These guards are dedicated. This entire place is gonna go boom very soon. And they're just like, no, we're gonna... We're gonna, you know, fight Shepard. Because uh, that went so well for all the other guards. Fuck me, I don't like this being timed, actually. They throw a lot of year. Oh crap! Really, all these guys? Can I please switch to the correct? Thank you. Yeah, you hurt. I only just now noticed the timer kind of in the lower right. Dude, just die, will ya? Thank you. Okay, let's pick up some ammo here. Because uh, we need it. I guess there's going to be more of those mechs. Just know it. So really good for stalling, yeah, that's for sure. Um, okay, can't walk down there. Somehow seemed like the uh, correct path, but no, that's just a shuttle. Where the? Um, sorry, what? Or do you uh, want me to go, game? Not down there. There's something here. What? Is there stairs down here or something? Or oh, okay. External comm channel open. Shepherd to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Uh, what? No. Go away. Shepherd. You have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Hmm. The project is a warning shot. Some humans are afraid that the Reapers are too powerful. But when the Alpha Relay breaks, everyone will see that we can fight the Reapers and win. However insignificant we might be, we will fight, we will sacrifice, and we will find a way. That's what humans do. And all the other species. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Yeah, at our own hands. for the arrival.
Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. Um, I guess we did the fo the paperwork? I didn't leave any details out of my report. Well, I was hoping to hear it from you. Without looking at this, I'm assuming you confirmed Kenson's proof. I did. She had a Reaper artifact that gave her visions of their arrival. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. Understood. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. I'm not sure on either of those two options, actually. I mean, we might be a bit more prepared when they do actually come because of this, but... Um... Yeah. Was it worth it, though? Probably. Considering how many people are around, uh, 300,000 really isn't that bad. I mean, that's like a, a couple of... that's like a town. It's really not that much. Um, but it did save a lot more, yeah. Probably. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. Yeah, um, I appreciate the delay. Thank you, Admiral. But what? How do are we going to be ready? Do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see your report to know you did the right thing. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Mission complete. Okay. Yep. Okay, sure. Exit. So now what? Did 
Just galaxy map. There's nothing else there at all. That is yeah, that's that's not good. Um I kind of expected this to like go into uh like a cutscene of actual arrival. Um Terminal, any unread messages? No messages. Well, um then I guess this is arrival. That's a that's a strange ending. That's a quite a letdown actually. Let's see if it says anything by Earth. Nothing. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, I guess this is Arrival then. Or it has been Arrival. Um, yeah, a bit weird. A bit weird of an ending. I, I really just expected it to uh, kind I of show some Arrival control. stuff. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. Yeah, but we're gonna we're in for a lot more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of I I just kind of expected it to play some new shots and then part of the trailer for Mass Effect Three or something like that. You know, actually showing Arrival, um, or hear or at least letting you hear it or something or you know, something. Um, it's supposed to really t you know tie Mass Effect Two to Mass Effect Three and it kind of didn't um i mean we're all know we all know the arrival is gonna happen so what did this show us that we killed a whole bunch of batarians who now want war with the humans instead of if you don't play they don't want that and the you know mass effect, in mass effect 3 the arrival will still happen so it's not gonna delay anything is it I really doubt it, but uh, I guess we'll see. There will probably be some references or, you know, some interesting Batarian politics or something uh, happening in Mass Effect 3 because of that. I I'm assuming so, at least. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, this is it for Mass Effect 2. I'm not going to go through uh, Overlord, even though I've been asked that a lot of times. So I'm not going to do it. Edie, we have a green light on that switch over. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is really just it. This is uh. Aerogel displays and optical solid state. It is all so primitive. Man, I can't wait for the future. <laughs> optical solid state. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is uh, this is it for Mass Effect Two. This is uh, Shepard and me signing out. And I'll uh, you see you guys in. Sometimes it's just like, you know, there's all this. It's like, you know? You're American. You're very American. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in Mass Effect 3. So I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys next time. Is there a problem with the. Uh, no? Oh, I don't think so. And. Still good. I got nothing further to add. See ya.